This is Daredevil Ree Morgan. I'm about to take a walk 300 meters above the ground right here using this, the Oculus Rift. So wish me luck. Hopefully I won't fall. We are a production company that harnesses emerging technology platforms to produce uh, compelling interactive experiences. So there are either at, um, exhibitions and museums, at trade shows, any type of live event, retail installations, where either brands or <coughs> companies want to engage with an audience and create an unforgettable experience. Um, we've been doing kind of virtual reality projects for the last 10 years, but mainly we kind of really high-end things with very expensive equipment. Uh, but now recently with, with uh, devices like the Oculus Rift and products from Sony and other interactive devices, we think it's going to be a huge explosion in this, this area, so virtual reality is back. What particularly excites you about the Oculus Rift? It's just the sense of presence when you put it on. Immediately you are transported to you know, wherever else, wherever we've created. You know, it, it takes up so much of your field of vision. Uh, it provides a really great 3D image, better than any type of 3D TV experience. Uh, so just a sense of being somewhere else as, as soon as you put it on is, is just so powerful. And I'm looking at, I see my gran who kind of stays in, she's diff uh, you know, difficult to get out of the house. I can imagine people who are sort of bedridden or, or in a home or something like that to give them sort of an amazing experiences. But you know, anyone from like automotive design to looking at property to sort of virtual tourism to collaborative experiences where you're just trying to communicate with someone from uh, across the world, it's almost like you know, virtual reality teleconferencing. The resolution is going to increase massively in the next couple of years. You know, it's been really made possible by mobile phone screens, um, you know, colour screens, very small, high-resolution screens. That's only going to get better very, very quickly in the next couple of years. And then it's all to do with you know, how do you interact in that world. So you need devices like the Kinect to track your arm movement and your finger movement, like with the glove we have behind us. And then I think it's it's all about people trying to come to grips with the medium, the games developers and other application developers, what type of experiences work well in virtual reality. It's very different to a normal gaming experience. Are you actually going to chop my arm off? Now you should be able to move your arm around and your fingers in the virtual world. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm actually quite scared. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, it feels like I haven't got a hand. Oh, I actually genuinely thought you were going to cut off my hand.